Hey guys. So I just downloaded the uh, Mount Whitney video. Three days long on Mount Whitney. Hope you guys enjoy it. Getting these boots off. For right now at least. Put my old crappy limbs back on. Dolls, I guess that's how you call it. The massive dam that we just passed. The, the Dolls Dam. Uh, it could be Dolly's, I don't know. But it's pretty huge. Now I see where they get all their electricity at from around here. They pull it from the Hood River through that dam area. And that's it. Hey guys, I stopped for fuel. I was on the phone for a little bit with my dad, so I wasn't able to film much between the last thing I filmed and uh, now. But uh, a lot of real foggy driving, but driving next to the Hood River Canal has been definitely a beautiful drive. Um, but stopped at Love's here to get gas. Cheapest gas I've seen in a long time at 349. So I'm also going to eat uh, some lunch real quick and then uh, get back on the road. So I washed the windshields, windshields, washed all the windows so I can uh, see so if someone's in my blind spot or not. This is Eastern Oregon. I figured you'd be able to see Mount Hood and Adams and all that from here, but I don't see it over there. Could just be on the other side of the mountain, I guess. Trucker's sleeping. It's like we're going up a little higher and then over this pass. Cool. Day. But 
just gotta s sleep in the snow again tonight. Looks like the Midwest got hit pretty good with snow. Because I'm at the lowest elevation I think there is out here. do truck stop areas but uh, I've been on the road too long and I'm tired so uh, found a nice little tucked away spot over here hopefully no one bothers me by the way <clears throat> I'm in Ontario Oregon not Canada obviously um, <clears throat> so I'm like a few miles away from Idaho border uh, so first thing, whenever I start driving, I'll literally just cross the Snake River is what I was looking at earlier, uh, that massive river, <clears throat> and uh, I'll be in Idaho. There's a lot of snow that I've noticed, obviously. You know, if it's <clears throat> going to be crazy, the further south I go, the further north, the further east, the, you know, like, what is it, what is it going to be like? Um, but I've never been in Idaho before, so that's a first to step foot in that state. Point. I would just like to be able to do that. Just be able to say that I've pretty much been in almost every state. I'm not really worried about the Dakotas, to be honest with you. It's a day by day thing, as always. Just making new videos as I go. I mean, this is literally, this video is probably gonna, not gonna be released for another month or two or longer uh, because of how many backlogged videos I have of traveling up the coast and getting to this point. So, um, at this, at the point that I release this video, who knows where I'll be at, but anyways, I'm hoping to have the YouTube channel grown a little bit bigger and, uh, more followers and maybe be able to monetize it at some point to call it income. But right now, as you can see, there's no ads on my videos. Um, there's no... Uh, sponsorships or any sort of you know anything you just watch my content and not to worry about anything uh, versus other people's videos right that I watch I've got to watch you know god a minute or worth of commercials and I gotta watch their them talk about um, a product for you know x amount of time I mean it does get kind of annoying and I can't say that I'm never going to reach that point but you know, who knows? So, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, it's cold in here. It's uh, definitely dipped in temperatures overnight, that's for sure. <laughs> Warming up the Forerunner and we're gonna get on the road. Boise, 
Plano, 57 miles. Thanks, mate. Come back soon. And yeah, maybe we'll see. Welcome to Idaho. Woo! We made it. Idaho. Boise's the capital of Idaho. I wanted to check this city out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Boise State University. You know it's a good town when you've got mountains in the background surrounding. Man, this is a really cool place. The history here is uh, by far, uh, there's a lot more on the sign over here. I didn't read or on the statue, but look at the size of this capital. This place is awesome. Alright guys, we gotta ring the bell. <clears throat> everybody's awake now <laughs> I know I am all right I think we should try to go in this place I wonder if these are the stairs that Rocky ran up I'm only kidding but they uh, they seem like it look at how many there are it kind of gives that vibe off
and the knowledge and history of this place is amazing. It just goes on and on. This guy looks kind of like uh, Christian Bale from Batman. <laughs> wow, this place is incredible. This capital was kind of refurbished in 2006 to 2009. They spent <clears throat> some time redoing some stuff and fixing a lot of things and laid all this new concrete and um, fencing and stuff. So that's pretty awesome. But we came out the basement. Here we are back out in the city. Made it back to the Forerunner. Trying to keep from having to pay a large amount of money for parking. But I also could have parked closer, of course, but I wanted to walk through the, the city. Uh, I thought it was pretty nice. It was definitely worth the walk. Uh, so let's go find somewhere where I can park and uh, make some lunch. So I was reading about uh, like an arrest or something that was being made uh, and some people intense protesting at the capital in Idaho uh, in Boise and here they are uh, I can't zoom in on it but I'll turn it around and zoom in but there I mean it looks pretty peaceful to me I'm not really sure what they're protesting right now I have to look deeper into it but I just heard someone got arrested but uh, I'm gonna look into it I mean it's very peaceful I mean there's I literally don't see anybody that there just must be intense or inside their tents but nobody's out chanting or screaming um, but I'm gonna look it up to see what's all, all right about. so apparently the protest started last year and it's just continued into this year uh, it's a mix between um, people protesting against Biden when they came when he came to town um, here and it's about um, affordable housing and the coronavirus and um, homeless stuff because they can't afford housing so I guess they're still here I'm not sure if they'd accomplished anything if anything's changed but that's about all I could find out I just know someone was arrested the other day but all right we're, we're moving on Just check out this sweet bike park. Even has the little speed course. <clears throat> Another one back there. And it just keeps going back. Wow. It's incredible. <clears throat> In case you guys forgot today, someone let you know. All right, we're gonna go find a camp spot in Boise National Forest not too far out of town there's navigation talking of course but we'll see what we uh, come across the land looks pretty cool it may be in snow so that'll be interesting but uh, I'm not gonna sleep in the city tonight I want to sleep somewhere on the outskirts so we're still gonna be technically in Boise though but anyways so let's go find out what we can find out there
pretty much everything's closed trailhead wise and there's so much snow that you can't really get anywhere so I'm looking for a, a cool pull off that I can pull down into and maybe have a good view for the sunset um, but we'll see what I find so I turned around and I'm going back the way I came because I don't need to take this road all the way back into the forest because I have to come back out this way anyway so I saw a road um, way back down here so I'm gonna check it out road right there that goes up follows up those ridges it's a lane and it has houses one up there as well so I don't I'm not really sure about that one that's the road I was originally talking about and then over there is day use only and then where I just came from is day use only and they have a person that literally in a camper that watches the area sleeps there I guess so my options have dwindled due to winter for one and for two just no place that doesn't allow um, anything overnight so I guess I'm going back down to lower elevation which you know it's gonna feel nice anyways and um, or nicer and then I saw a place on the way up here that would be fine, so that's where I'm going. All right, guys, change the plans completely. <laughs> completely just threw a wrench and everything. I uh, just came back to the city and went to a park uh, close to the one I was at earlier and went above it um, and I'm going to hike out here to see if I can get a overview of the city and uh, get a sunset so I don't think it's too far up here and I should get some sort of view I guess we'll find out. As you can see, the sun's directly in my face because I'm directly in front of the sun that's directly over the city. That should give me a directly pretty decent sunset. So now I'll just sit here and wait. I forgot that I'm in a mountain time now, so I uh, am two hours behind uh, East Coast. So now we're changed <laughs> because it matters. But um, yeah, I think the sunset over Boise, Boise. Oh well, yeah, Boise, Idaho. Yeah, Boise, Idaho. You know, <laughs> God, I've been so many places lately. I honestly, they're all just kind of blending together, and that sucks because they're all blending together. When I hiked the Appalachian Trail, it was the same way. Um, when I got through so many towns and mountains, uh, all the trees, mountains, everything just looked uh, the same eventually. Um, so there's a downside to, to doing this. Either way, um, your brain takes in so much information, you know, while you're traveling uh, long distances like this. And uh, it can definitely make you feel like you've lived a lot of years and, or, you know, just a short period of time because, I mean, people that don't get to see all, all this stuff in their entire lifetime. So it's, uh, 
it's definitely a good good time and good thing to do. I just realized that there's a oh those are the mountain ranges that I came by early, uh, to come into Boise that I couldn't figure out what they were. But anyways, um, yeah, sunset. My phone died while I was taking video up on the hill. I got some cool shots on my other camera, but uh, I only got like a couple of decent before the sun went down, uh, or right as it was going down on my phone, I think. I'm not really sure. So now we're gonna try to find a spot to park for the night. And uh, yeah. Make some dinner and go to bed, read a book, I don't know, the usual stuff. Well, this turned into a, uh, let's stealth camp in the Idaho capital city of Boise. So we're pretty much right on the outskirts of this the city itself because you gotta pay to park everywhere in the city. So we're park. So let's see if uh, if I can get away with parking here tonight. The way I look at it is if uh, people can park or not park if people can camp in tents on the capital grass. I should be able to park here and relax for the night and then move on. So I won't be here again after the night. But <clears throat> anyways, also you guys can't see, but there's like a bunch of cars in here. So it's not just me. So the reason I moved was because the road that I was along um, up at where the trail was, there was a uh, lady in this um, BMW SUV and she wasn't happy that I was parked in a day use only parking spot so I did not want to deal with her calling the cops and having to you know mess with all that so I just moved on and now I'm here at this park I don't think they're gonna give me any problems parking here I don't see any signs anywhere that say um, no overnight parking and all that but the city lights aren't too bright. It should be fine. And then tomorrow we'll, we'll uh, move on. But um, yeah, tomorrow I think I'm gonna resupply a little bit of food and then uh, head down to, I think it was, um, it was three something, three rivers, three something. Ah, let me look. It wasn't three anything, it was Twin Falls. So. I was thinking about going down the Twin Falls and just seeing some more of Idaho and then uh, moving on into um, Utah. I have not been in Utah, but if I go into Utah, it sacrifices Montana. So I'm going to really study the map and see the mileage of what it would take to hit up uh, Montana and then cut back south. Yeah, it looks like I would have to double back if, uh, looking at the map of what I've seen already. But all right, I'm gonna turn this light off uh, before people you know, see me in here. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until next time, peace.